I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll understand how to graph rectangular equations. Graph the equation x square plus y square equals to 2x. That's the question for us. So we have the equation x square plus y square equals to 2x. We can bring x to the left side so we get x square minus 2x plus y square equals to 0. Now we can complete the squares. So x square minus 2x, half of 2 is 1, so we'll add 1 on both the sides, right? So we'll add uh, 1 here on the left side and also on the right side. Now, first three terms become a perfect square. We could write this as x minus 1 whole square, this is y square, plus y square equals to 1. So what does that remind you of? This is equation of a circle, right? So this is equation of a circle whose center is at the point 1, 0 and whose radius is equals to 1 unit, correct? 1 square. So it becomes a circle. Do you see that? So in rectangular coordinates, x square plus y square equals to 2x represents a circle. So if I have to sketch this, let me sketch, sketch it here, then in that case we get a circle which has a center at 1, 0. That means it is shifted right by one unit. So let's say this is the center of the circle, then that is the, the circle, right? So it's, it's kind of this much. So it's a circle which could be sketched like this. On a rectangular graph, saying this is our x-axis, that is that is the y-axis. Is that okay? So we get this circle as a result of this particular equation. So that's one way of sketching this particular equation. Now there's another way of doing the same thing which is you could convert this to polar form right now how do we do so we know that uh, x square plus y square is equals to r square and we also know x is equals to r cos theta and uh, y is equals to r sine theta so that helps us to convert the rectangular equation into polar form the equation is x square plus y square equals to 2x, right? So equation given to us is x square plus y square equals to 2x. Now we'll convert this to polar form. x square plus y square is r square. So we could write this as r square equals to 2 times x. x is r cos theta, right? So it becomes 2 times x is r cos theta. So we can write this as r cos theta. Is that okay? Now r and r cancel. So we have r equals to... 2 cos theta. So we get this equation in polar form. So that is the equation in polar form, right? So this is this is the equation in polar form. Now from this equation also we can sketch the same graph, right? So let's let's do it. So if I have r equals to 2 cosine theta in polar form. The method to sketch this particular equation is for us to go for the symmetry. So we have the symmetry in this. We know cos is a f is an even function. So let's find what is f of minus theta. So f of minus theta will be 2 cos of minus theta. And we know cos of minus theta is cos theta. So it could be written as cos theta, which is same as f of theta. That means this function has symmetry and it will be symmetric about the polar axis right so it is symmetric about polar axis okay so that is what we have got by finding f of minus theta if it is equals to f of theta it is symmetric about polar axis right so now we'll consider this to be the pole and that becomes the polar axis so now it becomes a polar coordinate for us is that okay now where this is this is 2 right this is 2 
since the radius is 1 for this circle, this is 1, that is 2 for us. Is it okay? So that is how uh, this is 1 for us and that is 2. The axis will be. Now, since it is symmetric about the polar axis, what we can do is we can now find the values for cos theta, different values, and uh, plot them. So, so I'll make a table of values now. So let's let's have some table of values. So I'll pick up some values for theta. Since it is symmetric about polar axis, it is sufficient to take values between 0 to pi. Correct? So we'll take values from 0 to pi. Correct? So so for pi by for theta, cosine theta, we will take values like we can take 0, we can take uh, pi by 4, we can take pi by 2. I'm not taking many values, but you could write 3 pi by 4. Right. So what we are going to take here is few values like uh, 0, pi by 4, pi by 2, 3 pi by 4, and so on, right? So uh, 4 pi by 4, which is pi. So let's take these values, calculate, correct? Okay? So we need some decimal values. We'll get some decimal values here. So let's see what we get for f of theta. So as far as theta is 0, cos theta is 0 is 1. So the first value here is 1 times 2, which is 2. Now the second value will be 2 times cos of uh, pi by 4, so which is pi divided by 4, bracket close, equals to. So within decimals, it is 1.41. For pi by 2, cos pi by 2 is 0, you know, so it is it is 0. 3 pi by 4, so let's put 3 pi by 4 here, so we get, uh, let's change this equation, right? So 3 pi by 4, we'll do 3 here, equals to, so we get negative 1.41, and for cos pi, we know cos pi is negative 1, so it is, it is negative 2, right? So these are some values which we have taken uh, to sketch our graph. Now let's plot these values. So we have taken pi by 4. So pi by 4 is kind of half of this. Let me just kind of uh, make this angle. Let's say this is pi by 4. And that is pi by 2. Pi by 3, pi by 4, kind of high, half of this. Is it okay? So that is the radial angles. Now we are saying at 0 the value is 2, so at 0 the value is 2, so we get a point here. Let me use another ink. So at 0 we have 2, so that's the first point. Pi by 4, it is 1.41, so that is pi by 4, and this is less than 2, 1.41. At pi by 2 it is 0, that is this point. 3 pi by 4, we get a value of minus 1.41. So 3 pi by 4 is this line, that's the angle, and minus 1.41 means that we'll go to 1.41, right, and then reflect it. So when you reflect, you get to this point. Is it okay? For pi, the value is minus 2. So we'll go take 2 along the pi, this is along pi, correct? And then you reflect it. So, so when you reflect it on this side, you get to the same point here and these values repeat right so you get the same circle do you see that so these values repeat and you get the same circle got it so using the polar coordinates also we get the same circle which has been shifted one unit to the right horizontally and has a radius of one unit correct has a radius of half of two one unit so in this particular video, you see how we have connected the rectangular equation with polar equation and sketch kind of same graph on two coordinates superimposed on one another. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.